Everyone Has a Story is a series that serves a couple of purposes. Number one, we live in a community full of interesting people, but another is to provide some insight to our neighbors, their journey, be it struggle or success. Tonight, we introduce you to Chang Cher Lee, a Hmong man who is proof that the beginning of your story doesn't dictate how it will end. Chang Lee doesn't have too many regrets in life. In fact, he thinks he's been pretty lucky. You know, nowadays when you uh, reflect back, you know, I just think that I'm, I'm so glad and so happy that I'm still alive. In 1965, Hmong soldiers helped fight a secret war in his home country of Laos. The goal was to stop the threat of communism from spreading deeper into Southeast Asia. Lee's father was a part of that. My father, he um, during the war, he worked with CIA, so he 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 can communicate basic the basic language. In the secret war, tens of thousands died, both in the fight and trying to escape. Lee was one of the lucky ones. Here he is at the age of five, standing next to his father. It's the last time he ever saw him. When Lee got out of Laos, he was 14, old enough. To never forget. For me, it's kind of very scary because there's a group of about 30 people. We have to pay someone to get a, get a boat across the Mekong River. Um, you can see cop, communist police walking outside. And so then we had to grab our bag and run very really quickly, rush through the boat, took you across the river to Thailand. In Thailand, Lee and his family were moved to a refugee camp where they lived for one full year. By the time they came to the U.S., they had nothing but the clothes on their back. When we first came, we did we receiving public assistance. You know, so, I mean, they basically be, tried to become a self-sufficiency. But Lee knew education would be his only way to change his life. He went to high school and then graduated from UWL in 1990. He is the first person in his family to go to college. You decide your future. You, 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 in America, you decide what you want to do. It's a land opportunity. And that's exactly what Lee did, capitalizing on a cultural delicacy and turning it into a successful business. Mung's Golden Egg Rolls has been going strong in downtown La Crosse for 19 years. You know, the hardest part is to turn your dream into something real that you can count on, you can touch, and you can feel, and things you can be proud of that. Lee is also an integral part of why the Hmong Cultural Center is a prominent resource and lifeline for Hmong residents in the community. I feel like now I'm, I'm becoming somebody. I feel like I'm, I'm being a person of value. You know, thing that I have, thing that I do, they have impact on the community and they will be a good role model. Not maybe, he is a good role model. And not just to Hmong Americans, to anyone living the American dream. Wisconsin has the third largest Hmong population after California and Minnesota. As of 2014, the largest Hmong populations in the state are located in Green Bay, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, Wausau, and La Crosse. Our thanks to photographer Travis Udell for helping put this story together.